testing, testing, is this thing on? <laughs> Let's put this over here. So this is just something a little bit different. Let's have a look what we've got. We get a good view of everything. Yeah, it's not bad actually. So um, yeah, I thought I'd do something a little bit different today because I'm aware this is the Fitness Hutch channel and um, we should be doing fitness stuff, but not everything we do is fitness. It started off as fitness really. Um, and we kind of moved on to the um, the other stuff. <sighs> don't know why we've got a drip there. I don't know. Um, but I still do train in the gym every single day. Um, and this is my gym. This is the Fitness Hutch gym. This is where it all started, so to speak. Um, so I'm just going to do... Um, so I figure um, what I'm going to do today is just, I'm just going to smash out a chest session in my gym. Um, and I'm going to talk to you while I'm doing it. And I'm going to talk you through a little bit of what I'm doing and talk a little bit about the gym. And we might talk a little bit about motivation and stuff as well. But it's cold in here. Um, so I'm keeping my lid on, keeping my hoodie on. By the way, this is a hoodie. It's not a pump cover, just for those of you that aren't sure. Um yeah, so I'm going to go with um, chest. I'm going to train upper chest today, so that's going to be a lot of incline stuff. Um, uh, but it's all fairly simple, basic stuff. I'm going to talk you through the, the power cage and stuff as we're using it. Um, so, And I've got a microphone on, so it might seem like um, the sound is a bit like, all over the place. That's annoying. I can see that. I wonder if there's a way of me getting that out of the shot. It don't move. Why? It's not normally in the shot. Is that because I've got it set up different? Or is it because I need to be the other way up? Right, well, that's better. I'm in the shot now. Um, the gym does look a mess <laughs> over in this uh, in this corner over here. That's just a lot of weight all over. I've been uh, I've just been moving stuff around. So um, yeah, that's just one side of the gym. <laughs> this is where I'm going to be training today. So. Um, I'm just going to do a bit of warm. -up. I will watch the video back and I'll cut out the bits that are, or speed up the bits that aren't really any good. Um, so, not nothing special, nothing too, um, nothing too amazing in here. It's just collagen and um, magnesium for hydration. So the collagen I take every day um, because it's good for joints, um, and the magnesium helps with hydration. Ah, it's pretty good. Right, let's get started because we're fast running out of time. So I've just got, I've got a load of weight on this. I've only got 40 kilos. So we're just going to use this as a warm up um, just to stretch the stretch the chest off a little bit. Yeah, nice. I like to sink my shoulders into the bench. Ah, just to, right, and see, I like to check here as well. Look, if I get in the shit, the power cage can save me. I can just put it down. It's not going to crush me. Um, that's the benefit of this of this power cage. Anyway, <laughs> now I'm going to try and push it up from here. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> hey, my shoulder's cracking. <laughs> <sighs> nice. <sighs> so, I'm going to go with... Um, Incline bench on the barbell. Uh, so this is bench incline slightly up, barbell, weights on it, four sets of eight to ten. If I can do twelve, I want to be up in the weight really. Um, so I'm going to go with four sets of eight to ten. Then I'm going to do some cable flies, and we'll show you them when we get to it. Then maybe some dumbbell incline dumbbell, and then just some dumbbell flies. And I may do a finisher. I may do some dips. I may do some pullovers. Um, but it all depends on all depends on how it goes. I do much prefer to have music on when I'm training, but if I'm going to use the video for YouTube, um, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to. So I've just got to train in silence. Um, let's just go with another ten kilo on this, and then we'll just rep. Um, we can just rep that then. <laughs> That'll be 60 kilo, and we'll just rep. We'll just rep 60 kilo now. If I was in a commercial gym, I might rep 70. Um, but 
the session, the set would be different. I always mix up weight and reps sessions because I think it's important to keep stuff fresh. I think doing the same sets, the same session, the same weight all the time, your training gets a bit stale. Um, so I like to mix it up a little bit. So whereas I've been doing 70, I'm just going to move the bench forward a little bit. Whereas I've been doing 70 on flat, um, I'm just going to do 60 on incline today um, and just see how see how that feels. If I do the first set and it feels a bit too light, I, I might up it, but we'll see. I always feel different training at home. I always feel like it's I can't lift as much training at home. Nice and controlled. Squeezing the chest at the top. Nice. To be fair, that doesn't feel overly heavy, but we'll keep it at that. We'll keep it at that. Uh, normally rest for like 30 seconds or something in between sets. Um, and just see how I feel. So I think dropping your shoulders back and then when you push, don't lock your arms out. And squeeze your chest at the top. It's these little, I call them nuances. I don't know if that's the right word. <laughs> it's these little nuances that um, can change the way you train. Not just going in the gym, going through the motions and going home. Really thinking about the sets. I learned this from, to be fair, I learned it watching people on YouTube. I learned it watching people like Aaron Lambo and Seth Ferrosi and even um, Arnie and um, Ronnie Coleman. The little tricks, the little twists, the little squeezes. They're getting in there, pushing your weight out, doing it with purpose, meaning what you're doing. Working to failure, working hard. <sighs> Drop the shoulders, squeeze the chest, engage the core, lift the chin. <sighs> One more. Ah, nice. Read back the weight. Ah. Yeah, so I'm warming up now, so I'm going to take my lid off. Um, <laughs> get a little bit warm. So, yeah, I guess um, I don't really know what I'm going to talk about. I've never done it like this before. I've never really thought about doing this um, because I train in a commercial gym a lot. I don't train in here a lot. I, um, I train other people in here. But I figure I've got the gym. Why am I paying for a commercial gym when I can train at home for free? Um, I've just got to change my day up a little bit, the way I do things. So that's what I'm going to do. 2024, let's start changing things. Let's do things a little bit different. Chest today, I might film shoulders tomorrow. I might film biceps the day after. If you're watching this video now, drop us a comment and let us know what you would like to see. What's your set that you struggle with or don't like or would like to see what other people do? Let's go with that. Um, I've got a point to make in a minute. Let's just do another set. <sighs> Shoulders. Weight. <sighs> Chin. Lower. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Come on. Two. One more. Eight. <laughs> easy. Found that quite easy. Um, I'm not trying to be Sam Sulek. Let's just get that straight. Let's talk. Let, let, let's talk about Sam Sulek. Actually, let's talk about Sam Sulek while we're here. Um, <laughs> I've seen loads of stuff going around about Sam Sulek recently. Um, big, big dude. Big dude. Obviously knows his stuff in the gym. Anyone who's saying he doesn't know his stuff in the gym doesn't know their stuff in the gym because he clearly does. Like he's a he's a big guy for his age, what, 21, 22 years old? Um huge YouTuber. What, 12 million? Is it 12 million or 2 million? I don't know. He's got a lot. 
why do I think it was 12 million? Now I'm thinking about that, that sounds like too many. Might be 2 million. Anyway, he's grown from a 2,000 or whatever it was to 12 million. Or 12,000 to 2 million. The semantics are not important. You can always have a look yourself. Um, what concerns me with him, and it's entirely his choice, is, uh, I mean, I, I haven't watched everything he's done, but it seems like he doesn't talk very openly about steroids. Um, and look, I ain't a judgmental person. <laughs> I'm not bothered. You want to do test, Anavar, Dynabol, Windstroll, whatever it is you want to do. It's your choice. I'm not advocating for it. Your choice. I'm I'm completely natural, obviously. Um, and I would I would never, I don't think I'd ever use steroids. I mean, you should never say never. I don't think I would. Um, not for any kind of ethics reasons. Not really for health reasons. I'm not sure how my body would react to them. One second. That's set. Come on, let's go. All in here. One. Nice and controlled. Two. Three. Four. Five. Come on. Six. Two more. Seven. Come on, motherfucker. One more. Just go two more. Oh, failure. One more. Oh, Jesus Christ. Woo! <laughs> so, that was a hard set. Um, right, let's have, let's have a, a little rest in the chat. So, um, I'm not sure how my body would respond. That's why. Um, I don't take much medication. When I had um, the C19 thing, I didn't have the in the arm. Um, but I did get it. I got the I got the virus, and I took these things called Sulfur D Max. This was something that um, someone told me I should take for the pain. Such blinding headaches. So I took these Sulfur D Max over the counter, um, and <laughs> they about wrecked me. <laughs> I uh, I passed out in my <laughs> passed out in my bathroom. Man had to come and get me, <laughs> stand me up, take me to bed. Um, all taking. Um, just painkillers, essentially really strong painkillers. One second. Let's just move this one. Um, yeah, essentially just taking really strong painkillers. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to do some upper, so like flies, you know, where if you, you lay flat, like flies, but I'm going to do them like an incline. So I'm going to be doing them from up high to the middle here. As I'm doing them, you'll see I'm going to squeeze my chest together. I use my cable crossover machine that I've got in the corner, an amazing piece of kit. If you've got a home gym, this is this is a lifesaver. You'll see as we as we train through the weeks, if you keep coming back and seeing what we're doing, you'll see this is an absolute lifesaver. Um, I would say a lifesaver because it's not I'm not going to die if I haven't got it. The, the power cage is a lifesaver because it can actually save your life. Um, I don't know why I said lifesaver. So let's get back to the Sam Sulek thing. One second now. Home Bargains um, Magnesium Tablets, the strawberry ones, so nice. So we're going from here, I like to check that I'm in the middle, get myself set up so I know where I want to be, thinking about the movement, not just going through the motions, but doing what I need to do. Take a little step forward just to put a bit of stretch on the, sh on the, the chest, I can feel it from where I've just done them. Take the tension of the weight, slight bend in my elbow, and then from here, head up, and just curl them down. Trying to keep the same bend in my arm all the way down. So I'm not going like this. From here, all the way down. Squeeze the chest. Nice deep breaths. Squeezing at the bottom. I'm not going all the way back up. I'm keeping it under tension. See, I'm going from here, not from here. Because I'm keeping it under tension. And I've lost count, so I'm just going to do four more. That's why I shouldn't talk while I'm going. Oh, judging by that, that's enough. A um, little bit too light, I think, because I think I've got to 12 or so there. So I'm just going to put another two and a half kilos on each one. 
um, off my pile of weights that I've just got thrown all over the place. Uh, I'm not the tidiest of gym people, but I don't need to re-rack the weights because it's my fucking gym. So, Sam Sulek. Um, yeah, it always concerns me that people aren't honest about the steroid use. If you're using steroids, be honest about it. So that's the way I see it. Um, but he clearly, in my opinion, he, he looks like he is. Um, and I've seen all the videos where they've said he's been open about it in the past. I don't know about that. He looks to me like he is. Um, and then he's eating burgers and drinking chocolate milk. And his diet shocking. Full bowls of cereal. Big bowls of cereal for Christmas. For Christmas? I'm going to keep that in. Full bowls of cereal for breakfast. Now, again, that's his choice. We're all about choice, pro-choice. You know, you're your own person. You make your own decisions. He's an adult. He can do whatever he wants. He can do whatever he wants and put it on YouTube. But I tell you what I've seen an increase of just recently. One second. Oh, that's better. I'm going to count these properly so I know what I'm doing. Oh, it might be a little bit too light still, but we're going to do four sets of them on that. Just, I'm going to keep it that way. I might do a drop set for the last one. I might up it and then do a drop set. Um, my, my biggest worry and concern here is that he's doing this, and I've seen loads recently on gym groups on Facebook and stuff of young men absolutely adoring this guy, which is great for him. It's great for him. And people go, oh, you're just jealous. I'm not jealous. Well, I'm not jealous. I think well done to him. But yes, I'm jealous of his physique and his success because I would love to have that. Um, the reason I haven't is my own fault. It's my own choices. And if I really wanted that, I could push harder to get it. So being jealous of things is a stupid thing, really, because you can just, you can get it. <laughs> All you've got to do is work at it. If, any, if he can do it, anyone can do it, yeah? So, but that's by the by. My concern is that, p that people are role modeling. Kids are going out. Young lads are going out. Young, virile, full of testosterone, young men with their whole lives ahead of them who don't need to use testosterone, who don't need to use steroids, who don't need to eat like shit, who could just come in a gym, lift heavy weights, eat clean, eat healthy, get their supplements on point, and be a very decent physique. But instead, what they're doing is they're going out advocating drinking shitloads of chocolate milk, which isn't poison, let's be honest, but it is because it's just full of sugar and shit. Loads of chocolate milk, loads of burgers, loads of shit, because Sam Sulek's done it, so I can do it. Don't quite work like that. And that's the, that's the era we live in now. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, let's just do eight of them again. Um, that's the era we live in now. People see something online and think that's what they can do and that's what they can be. Yes, you can be that person, but you don't need to emulate them precisely. You don't need steroids at 19, 20 years old. Your body is a natural steroid. You're an animal. You're a beast at that age. What you need to do is put the effort in. It's work hard. Get in a gym. Smash it out. Eat your food. Live it. Live that life. You can't just go to the gym three or four times a week and then take a load of steroids and then drink chocolate milk <laughs> and take fucking ketamine all you can. You've got to live the life. Trust me, if I could go back and be a teenager again, oh man, I tell you what I'd do. I'd do all, not just gym, but just in life. What would I do? Wow. I 100% guarantee you, if I could go back and be a teenager again, if I go back now and be 15 years old, with the knowledge I've got now, be a millionaire by the time I was 30. And I'm not talking about knowing the future, but the knowledge about growing up that I've got now, about hustle, about work, hard work, being dedicated, thinking about the future, planning, goal setting. It'd be fucking epic. Anyway, last set of these. Got a bit of a tangent there. 
<laughs> Do one more set. Oh, Jesus. Right, I'm losing form a bit now. Uh, now, I always find that on the last set, if you start to lose a bit of form, it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. People talk about having perfect form. Oh, failure, let's go. Oh, people talk about having perfect form, and I think if you start in these, and your first exercises are like this, and you're rocking backwards and forwards, it's shit. You might as well not bother. But, one second. Um, if you lose a bit of form on your deep into your fourth set, like, so what? Sometimes that happens. Don't do it every time. Don't do it on purpose. Don't lose form because you've made it way too heavy for yourself. But if you're losing form because you're beginning to come to fatigue, that's not the end of the world. So what are we doing next? What are we doing? We've done four sets of them. Let's set this one up, look. Set it up over here. We're going to do four, four corners of the gym. I'm going to have to put my hoodie back on. It's cold. Not working hard enough if I'm cold, isn't that right? What they say? Let's go down a little bit. Okay. And what's wrong with the floor? The floor looks terrible. I moved everything around. I cleaned the gym the other day. I moved everything around. Power cage in a different place. This thing, which apparently is a treadmill. Something to do with running inside. I'll put this on cold and cold. Um, <laughs> move that over there. Just give me a bit more space. Mopped the floor. Come in the next day. Looks like I've mopped it with concrete. <laughs> it's terrible. Looks horrendous. Anyway, digress. We're gonna do. Um, we're gonna move this one actually. Uh, let's move this over here. Tilt it down a little bit. I bought a different tripod, well, a, a clip to go with that, and it's absolutely dog shit. <laughs> it's absolutely rubbish. It won't clip to anything. It's supposed to be for a BMX, and it doesn't open wide enough to clip to a BMX. Um, so this is the muscle squad bench that I... That I um, <laughs> that I, oh, I'm going to have to come this way, aren't I? So you can see me. <clears throat> look, look at that. What a shit bench this is. Um, I reviewed it on my channel last year and they said it was because I hadn't put it together properly, but like, it's not. It's all together. Look, it just does that. It's crap. But it hasn't fallen to bits and it hasn't killed anyone yet. So, And I'm going to be using the selectable, um, Muscle Squad selectable weights, the dumbbells. Um, I'm going to go with what weight we're going with today for these. 24s, I think. Oh, Jesus Christ. Are we going with 24s? Maybe. Maybe we'll go with 24s and see how that feels. I don't know why that's wet there. Um, 24. I know that I'm not on camera right now, but I will be back in a minute. 24. So I'm going to go with um, dumbbell press. These are just staples for chest. Nothing. Nothing too complicated. So if you go in a gym... Find a bench, a power cage, a, a Smith machine. You'll see the Smith machine. It's got hooks on it. It's got a long bar with hooks on it. it. Means you can go heavier and not worry about it crushing you because they've got they've got mechanisms to save you. And if you don't know what you're looking for, just ask the person that works in the gym. Have you got a Smith machine, or can you spot me? Um, same with the heavier dumbbells. You can just drop them, but really you shouldn't be using something that's too heavy for you. Um, and you should be able to control the weight that you're pushing. But as you get heavier, once you start pushing like 40 kilos on each arm, it's very hard to control it up and down. Um, but you won't be pushing 40 kilos if you're just beginning, not yet. Unless you're insanely fucking strong. Um, we're going to go with three sets of 10, I think, of these. Um, we'll see. Maybe three, maybe three sets of 10, maybe four sets of eight. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see. I like to see how, how I feel. Um, I do plan in my head loosely what I'm going to train, but I like to see how I feel when I'm going to train. Um, I'm feeling pretty strong today. Oh, he says a minute ago, feeling strong. Fucking hell, I've got to try and pick this one up now. Ow. 
I haven't even checked that. That's okay. That's good there. Let's go. Oh, yes. Keeping all those under tension, squeezing the chest, engaging the core, down to a 45 degree angle, power them up. Try not to clang them at the top and don't lock your arms out. But squeeze the chest at the top. One more. Back down. Nice and controlled. So as not to break anything. Ah, get cramp in your hip because you're old. <laughs> yeah, they're nice. They're not bad. They're a good weight, actually. I could probably go a bit higher than 24. Um, but I'm not going to today. I'm going to do four, four sets of eight, I think, on them. I don't really want to do 10 on each. Oh, we'll see. If I can do, if I get 10 next time, I might do four sets of 10. Um, when you're training, you've got to just go with what your body feels. The ultimate goal is to leave with your muscle completely exhausted. Um, and I'm doing all upper chest. So the chest is made up of three parts, upper, middle, and lower. Um, everything incline, like this, upwards, so you're not flat, works upper chest. Everything flat or to the middle works middle chest. And everything lower or decline works bottom chest. A lot of people don't go through the motions of all three. A lot of people don't work lower chest. It's middle and upper because that's where your t-shirt sits to give the effect of having a bigger chest. Um, I'm working upper today because I've noticed the upper is the part of my chest that's, that's lagging the most. And I've concentrated a lot on middle recently because I've just got these little bits here that I'm trying to work out. Um, just trying to, where I'm cutting, I need to cut for that, I know that. But if I can build a little bit in that area as well and then cut, it should smoothen them out a little bit. Hopefully, we'll see. Maybe not, I might be shit and not know what I'm talking about. Um, that's always the risk, isn't it? Watching people train on YouTube. I'm not huge, I've got a little bit of a belly on me, but I've lost quite a bit of weight recently because of the carnivore diet. Um, and People could be watching this, following everything I'm saying. And your bodybuilder mate down the road might go, that guy ain't got a fucking clue what he's talking about. And I think that's the risk you take when you're watching stuff on YouTube. I've watched some stuff and I've thought, don't like the sound of that. So if you don't like what I'm doing or it doesn't feel right, then don't do it. <laughs> like it might work for a thousand or a million other people. If it doesn't work for you, it doesn't work for you. That's what I find anyway. Fucking hell, these are heavy. Let's go. That's four. Let's go for ten. Six. Seven. Eight. Let's go. Nine. One more. So, yeah, we can do we can do four sets of them at that weight. And I've always found I used to say I don't give a shit what people think, but in actual fact, I did give a shit what people think. Um, and now I think I should care what people think, but actually, I don't. <laughs> like, and I know that sounds strange because I do care if my subscribers like my content. I do care if the people watching enjoy what I'm doing. But I don't care if someone watches it and thinks it's shit. That's their problem. That's not mine. Like, they, them thinking what I'm doing is shit or stupid isn't going to affect me at all. So, like, that's their choice. Um, I know that how I work out works for me. I know what I eat works for me. I know what I do in my personal life and social life works for me. And if something I'm doing can impact your life, then I'll bring that to you guys. And if it impacts on one person, which every single week for the last year, someone has told me they like what we do, keep doing what we do, we're natural at what we do, we, we, you've really helped us. There's always been something, even today, someone I was in the army with, Chris, I'm going to give you a quick shout out, man. My man, Chris, fingers, um, <laughs> Chris Palmer sent me a picture. In fact, this picture, I'm going to show you it, this picture that I've put on screen now. He's in Toronto, Canada with his family, living there now. 
um, and he was watching my morning video <laughs> on his telly. And he sent me and said, watching you all the way in Toronto. So what we're doing is affecting people, which is, which is amazing. Love that shit, man. I'm going to make that little bit into a short, um, just so Chris can see it. I'm going to post it on, on one of the groups. Um, talking about groups, we do actually have a Facebook group. If anyone wants to join it, the link's in the description. Um, it's all about people. What's it called? <laughs> it's called The Hutch, a place for people. Where people can go and talk and engage and be happy and not be trolled and see our positivity because that's what we aim for. Everything to be trying pos- try and be positive as much as we can. I need to get training because... Ah, a little bit behind. 45 minutes or so is what I aim for. Unless I'm doing two body parts. Let's go. It's not me trumping, by the way. That's the bench squeaking. One, two, let's go for ten. Three, four, five, six. Come on, three more. Uh, four more. Shit, maths. Seven. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Eight. Two more. Nine, one more. God, ten. Oh, shit, the bed. The microphone's still on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I always think I'm going to film one day. It's going to have no sound. The microphone's going to be off. I'm going to have forgot to have pressed play or the camera's going to have gone flat. So I've been training about half an hour. Um, one more set of them. Then we're going to do some flat or some incline dumbbell flies. Maybe... 15 kilo flies squeeze really squeeze that chest and really stretch it out stretch the muscle right out and then pump the blood back in to get that pump on to help it grow <sighs> now i'm not a scientist i'm not a doctor i haven't even got sports science fucking qualification i don't fully understand where the blood pumps to where and how this fixes that and but I don't think you need to necessarily. As long as what you're doing works for you and you know the simple stuff. So I train people in here and after a couple of sessions with them, you get a feel for how strong they are, how they train, um, what they like to do, what they don't like to do. I know I've got one of my, uh, I've got one of the younger ones coming in there tonight, uh, late. Oh, he's not in the early 20s. And he fucking hates working shoulders. And I know it's a shoulder session tonight, so I've got to put a bit of extra effort in to keep him motivated. Um, which I will. But I know that he doesn't eat enough. He's not going to grow as much as he would like to grow because he won't eat as much as I'd like him to eat. And then he comes in, he says, I'm growing. I say, you are growing. I want to be bigger. You're going to eat more. If you don't eat more, you don't grow. I don't need to know the science behind that. But food fuels the body, and that's how you grow. That's what repairs it. The, the, glycogen in the, the, the glycogen and the protein go to the muscle, which repairs the damaged muscle, which makes it grow. So I do know some of the science. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. So it is. Got one more set of these, and then we're going to do some flies. Um, hope you're enjoying the video. It's a bit weird. This is a weird one for me, because I haven't done this before, and I don't know how this is going to go down. And it was inspired by Sam Sulek. It, it obviously was. The guy's a huge inspiration to people, whether it's through his training or his terrible diet or his videos or his personality he's a really nice guy he was inspired by sam um just to set up and train why not if he can do it i can do it that's what i just said remember anyone can do anything i'm not going to sit in the van and drive and talk and clip this to my hand i'm not going to emulate somebody exactly but if someone's doing something that works and you want to do that thing do that thing and it'll work but it might not <laughs> might bomb it might bomb and like five people might watch i might get trolled and if i do i do and that's that's fine i was going to come and do the workout anyway it makes no difference to me uh, fucking all these are heavy <laughs> shit <laughs> one more one more set let's go <laughs> ten <laughs> one let's go two plant my feet good strong base three all the power through my feet Four, so every part of my body is lifting this. Five, six, 
Seven, come on! Eight, oh, I'm getting heavy now. Come on, two more, we can do this. Nine, fuck me, one more. Oh, ten. That's, that's what I'm talking about when I say, oh, leave it all in the gym. Work hard, oh, I've, knocked my, I've knocked my thing off. Where's that gone? Huh. Shit. Oh, where's that gone? I've knocked the, uh, the little microphone cover off. I don't know where it's gone. Oh, it's there. <laughs> Sorry if the sound went a bit wanky then. Um, yeah, that's what I mean when I say leave it all in the gym. Um, actually, shall I show you these weights when I do this? Can we bring this round? Yeah, we can. Let's do this, look. Dot it down. Times one. Times two. Yeah, I don't know why that wet mark's down there, but anyway. These are the selectables. Muscle Squad selectables, the reviews on my channel. You just slot them back into wherever they come out of. Like that. Red button, you press it. I want to go with 14 and a half. Turn it to where you want it. And then take out the one you want. Pretty decent. They've been in there about a year and a half as well. They have been a bit damp at times. And they still work pretty well. So really good weights. So I'm really pleased with them. Uh, let's go back over here. Because we're going to stay where we were. On the same incline as well. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, on the same incline. I'm just going to change the other weight to 14 and a half. Ah. Yeah, they're pretty good. They're not cheap. I think they're about 600 quid for the pair. But they're a lot cheaper than buying a full big rack of weights. And they take up hardly any space, which is good. I'm not going to keep that on the same incline. I'm just going to drop it down one more. Just no science behind it. I just feel better. A little bit lower on flies than I do on um, dumbbell press. Don't know why, I'll be honest, but that's just the way it is. I've done this for a long time and I know what I like, I know what works for me. That's all you can do is what works for you. I, I feel a bit mad <laughs> training in the quiet, talking to people who aren't there. Last four sets, and then we're done. That's chest done for today. I'm not even going to do a finish here because I'm running a bit out of time. Uh, I'm going to get an hour for my lunch, so I have to train in 45 minutes. <sighs> okay. Right, so this grip, push them straight up here. Now what I like to do is get comfy again, get where I want to be, drop the shoulders. Slight bend in the elbow, but keep the same bend. Same as what we was doing before with the rope. With the cable, sorry. <sighs> Squeezing the chest at the top. Good squeeze at the top. Nice and low to stretch the chest off. <sighs> Four. Five. You'll see I do a little twist. I bring the heel of the weight out. <sighs> the heel of the weight in helps me squeeze the chest together. I think that's six. Uh, seven. One more. Uh, eight. <laughs> They're quite heavy. <laughs> I wasn't expecting them to be quite that heavy, if I'm honest. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> oh, I don't even know if you can see me now, but I've come off camera. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Sorry. Um, well, I can do what I want, actually, because it's my gym. It's my video. <laughs> um, so, what have we covered today? We've covered incline bench for upper chest. Four sets of eight to ten. I did 60, 60 kilos, give or take a kilo or two. Um, I did cable, upper cable flies to here, squeezing the chest. Again, four sets of eight to ten. I did incline bench dumbbells, 25 kilo or 24 and a half kilo on each side. 
I did four sets, uh, well, I did three sets, ten and one set of eight. I could have upped that weight a little bit, but I didn't want to change it all after I'd done it. So I'll remember next time, up the weight, do four sets of eight. And then we're going to do incline flies. I'm going to do another three sets of these. Twisting. So what I was doing was when I say the heel and the, the toes of the weight, heels at the bottom, the toes at the top. I think I'm the only one that calls it that. So this position, as we come down, we twist them out. As we come in, we twist them in. Because that twist in squeezes the chest. And that's what you're aiming for, squeezing the chest. I don't know why, but that's what Aaron Lambeau always said to doing. He's got a big chest, so. <laughs> always feel it much more. You'll feel it more in the chest if you do that little squeeze. Especially if you're stretching it right out of the bottom and then squeezing it back in at the top. Uh, training with purpose, with meaning. Don't do it every time. Sometimes I'll do something a little bit different. But this time, this is what I'm going to do. So, see how the, the heel is touching. Twist it out. Stretch it off. Squeeze that chest right in again. Three. Four, five, six, ah, seven, eight, whoo, one more, nine, ten, Whoa, we're getting towards failure now, chest is getting hard, chest is getting fatigued, which is good, that's what we're aiming for. Is that fatigue? You can feel it. You can feel it getting tired. You can feel that you've worked it hard. You can feel the pump that you're getting on. I fucking love that. Um, yeah, so do two more sets. Um, and then it's refuel time for me. It'll be eggs. Depending on what your diet is, depends on what you refuel. Depending on who you are, how old you are, how much you eat, what your, what your diet is, what your lifestyle is. It was always for me, after a workout, high protein, high carb, protein shake. Oats, God. oats, peanut butter, banana, frozen fruit, two scoops of mass gainer, good high calorie to really refuel their muscles. But it depends. Like nowadays, I'm carnivore, so it's just eggs. Four scrambled eggs for recovery and rehydrate. I'll have another. I'll have another. Um, another thing of water. Yeah, it's all good. So, I hope you've enjoyed um, what we've done. I'm gonna do these other two sets. But if you have enjoyed this video and you haven't subscribed and you're still watching, if anybody is still watching who hasn't subscribed. Just comment me in the comments because I'm betting this first one gets probably 25 views um, and there'll be, the, there'll be a view duration of about two minutes. Uh, <laughs> but that's life, man. That's life. I'm not, I'm not sweating that, but that's what, that's what I expect. I'm not expecting thousands of views on me sat in my gym working out, talking shit. Um, but I'm going to go a bit clickbait. I've talked about Sam Sulek. I've done that for a reason. I'm going to be honest. I'm always honest about what I do. Fitness Hutch is always about honesty. <sighs> I've done that so I can put him in the thumbnail and put him in the description. Oh man, that's right after these. One more set. Yeah, I've done that so I can put them in the thumbnail and the description. It's clickbait, it's to get people in. That's what YouTubers do, that's creators. It's not a dirty trick, it's not a sad, pathetic trick. I haven't slagged him off. I really like the guy, I really like the kid. Pros and cons, you know? Um, <coughs> um, yeah, you know, there's, there's certain things I like about him, there's certain things I don't like. I think it's amazing what he's doing, like his growth on YouTube and fair play to him. 
it just bothers me that there's people out there that role model and they're going to do it wrong. But I can't change that. You can only worry about the shit that you can influence. I can't influence it. Well, I might be able to. Some might comment on this video and go, you're right, man. Hey, man, you're right. That was a terrible accent, but um, <laughs> who knows? But yeah, it's not like I'm creating a video to slag somebody off because I hate that. That's not what we're about. I'm not slagging him off at all. Um, if anything, I'm kind of giving him props. Loads of people following, which is amazing. If I had 1% of his followers, it'd just be phenomenal. I think I've got, no, 1,000 would be 1%, wouldn't it? Or 10,000. 10% 10 of, I don't know how many he's got, 12 million? I don't even know if he has got 12 million. I might have to have a look. Shall I have a look before we finish? I might be skiving him a lot more. He might go, hey man, I didn't know I had 12 million. I bet he's not, because he won't be watching. <laughs> um, but, uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Samuel. And then we'll do our last set. If I put Sam into here, oh, he's not the he's the fifth one that comes up. Sam Sulek. Oh, two million. Oh, three million. So I'm, I'm giving him an extra ten million subscribers. Congratulations, Sam! You've just got ten million more subscribers. He posted a video sixteen hours ago. It did two hundred forty-five thousand views. What a guy, man! I mean, that's just. That's just phenomenal. What he's doing is phenomenal. And what he's done is phenomenal. And don't, don't get it twisted that the thing with the steroids, that's my personal thoughts. I think what he's doing is amazing. I think he's an amazing kid and I hope he goes far. And I hope he learns a few things. You know, he's obviously still learning. We're all still learning. I was a fucking practically alcoholic when I was his age. So, you know, who's anyone to judge anyone? Let's do this last set. Then we can make like a tree and get the fuck out of here. Fucking hell, come on, seven, one more. Ah, sorry about the noises. Oh man, sorry about the noises. Um, <laughs> so, there we go, workout's done. I'm going to go refuel. Um, I'm going to go and sort out the stuff I need to sort out, refuel, do the bits I need to do, edit this video, hopefully drop it in a couple of days. Don't know why I'm saying that, because it will be dropping. But when I drop it, it makes no sense. It does to me, in my head. Um, please consider subscribing check out the video that's on the screen right now it's pretty cool achieve your goals and choose life